From the man who led the first team in the fight in Afghanistan, to women winning big on the ice, and showing a nation that athletic achievements cannot be bound by gender. A man who overcame a life of a child soldier in Sierra Leone, to a woman driving change in Taliban-controlled provinces. A man who used basketball to remove biases and change lives, to a man who used math to do the same. We have heard stories of bravery, perseverance, leadership, and compassion from military leaders, athletes, and men and women from around the world. We do not leave here the same as when we walked in. We cannot hear these extraordinary stories and not somehow be changed. NCLS has quickly become my absolute favorite conference to attend. You not only need people of integrity willing to say what they believe and be honest about their views, but you have to have a leader who is willing to listen, even if they continue to disagree. When you have diverse conversations and you have diversity around the table, it helps bring everyone up, not just the majority, but the minority. We have to love our ethnicities and everything that that entails because it's what makes us so amazing as a country. As diverse teams are more effective. Diverse teams are more successful. And that's not anecdotal, that's not just based off of somebody's notion of it, a story, that's based off of research. That actually with the right care and support, you can recover and you can refocus everything that happened to you for something good. If you don't have the courage to fail or you don't have the, the courage to even try, then it's only going to do one thing for you and that is that you'll never find your fullest potential. Ultimately, you expect of your United States Air Force to take on an enemy and to win when we fight wars. And we cannot win when we fight wars, when we all look like each other and when we all come from those same backgrounds and from those same experiences. We win wars when we build teams that have those diverse backgrounds and those diverse experiences and those diverse perspectives. Thank you for engaging in this incredible opportunity to broaden your perspective, put yourself in another person's shoes and think critically and openly about the tough challenges that face each of us as future leaders. Leaders are learners, right? You gotta become a lifelong learner. Let us step forward with a greater understanding of differing perspectives and how valuing human conditions, cultures, and societies enriches our ability to lead teams through complex and dynamic challenges that await each of us. As we continue the conversation through integration into cadet coursework, and future opportunities to spend time with leaders who will challenge our way of thinking, we reflect with gratitude on the past few days. We invite you to join us again next year, February 25th and 26th for NCLS 2021, where we will explore the theme of warrior ethos. If you were inspired by our speakers this year and have someone in mind who would be a great fit for next year's symposium, please go to the Air Force Academy's NCLS homepage and nominate a speaker through the speaker nominations link. Thank you again for your commitment to growing leaders of character at the United States Air Force Academy.